the mega prebiotic. Mm. Um, tell us a little bit about it and I can comment too. Yeah, so we designed that as what we call a precision prebiotic. Prebiotics are gonna be really important for gut health. Prebiotics are gonna be really important for your microbiome, uh, for maintaining a healthy diversity in your microbiome, for feeding these um, keystone strains that are really important for health. Many of these keystone strains like Fecalum bacteria and Acromantia are inversely correlated with chronic illness. So the higher amounts you have, the more protected you are against chronic illness. Uh, prebiotics become really important in increasing all those kinds of bacteria and increasing diversity. The problem is there's lots and lots of prebiotics out there and there's many that are more general, uh, which means that they can feed bad bacteria just as well as good bacteria. So if you've got a dysfunctional um, immune, uh, sorry, dysfunctional microbiome ecology, you've got a lot of kind of opportunistic unfavorable bacteria and you're throwing in prebiotics, which is bacterial food into that system, you could be feeding the dysfunctional bacteria just as well as good bacteria. So it's not gonna give you a net benefit the way you think it should. And so looking at that, we said, okay, there's gotta be some precision prebiotics, some oligosaccharides that are designed and shown clinically to be able to feed just certain groups of good bacteria. So that's what we honed in on. We honed in on some uh, oligosaccharides that have published clinical trials showing their ability to feed certain groups of really important keystone bacteria. So that's why we call it a precision prebiotic. You use it as a kind of a precise method of increasing certain groups of vulnerable but very important uh, bacteria within your microbiome. Okay. Yeah, and one key tip you gave me once is like put it in water over the course of the day. Because mm -hmm. even though it's not meant to like irritate SIBO or bloating, I think we're so is so dysbiotic and like starved mm -hmm. of fiber that it's like, whoa, it can be, so you can use a smaller dose and you can yeah. do it over the course of the day and kind of build up. Yeah, like yeah. this is a, I have this bottle here, which has just a little bit of brewed tea in it too, but I put um, a half a scoop in this bottle and this is like my first half of the day, I'm drinking basically half a scoop with a bottle this size. And then the second, and then in the second half of the day, I refill this and I put another half of the scoop and I kind of drink it from the evening onwards. So I'm basically sipping the prebiotic in throughout the day. And that, as it turns out, is important. There's a couple of studies that show that one of the ways of optimizing benefit from fiber, resistant starches, prebiotics, and so on, is to get smaller doses of it throughout the day. Then you actually get better utilization of it. If you flood the system with one drink of 40 grams of fiber and a whole bunch of prebiotics and all that, then the utilization of it gets actually diminished. There's not enough metabolic activity with the bacteria to be able to take in, uh, advantage of all the fiber that's there. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, so, so getting smaller doses in throughout the day seems to be more beneficial. Okay, awesome.